Oh, Activision, what you've become. We I used to respect you back in the pitfall days. So welcome everyone to Let's Play Tony Hawk's Underground. It has one of the most horrible intros ever of a man being brutally murdered. <laughs> a very specific man. We will see if he deserved this death later. Keep it in mind. I don't recognize these balls. Might be for the PC version. Oh shit, Beanox did this version? Huh, they made Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Huh. And some Call of Duty games, but those aren't important. Yeah, for the record, I am playing the PC port of this. Yeah. Which is essentially the same as the consoles, it's just, it mostly looks the best and it runs at 60 FPS. Yeah. Like, the closest you can get on consoles is playing the Xbox version on an Xbox 360, but you don't have one of those, right? No. So, Jacob, I know semi-recently you got into skateboarding yourself. I did. I started skateboarding earlier this year. Um, I've... Ow. Uh, that, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, in reality, I haven't even tried anything like that, but I've... The best I can do is I can competently ride the board, and I can, with hours of practice, I can sometimes land an ollie. But yeah, I've gotten pretty much pretty big into skateboarding, and it's mostly thanks to the Tony Hawk series. Yeah, we both have histories with the Tony Hawk games. Since Pro Skater 2 through American Wasteland, it was a big part of my childhood. It was also a major gateway for me getting into punk rock. Oh, yeah. Licensed soundtracks in general molded my musical taste a lot, but Tony Hawk possibly more than any other. Yep, for this LP, we're going to be keeping the licensed soundtrack. When we get to Underground 2 and American Wasteland, the music is going to be swapped out. Yeah. But that's because this is a Patreon first Let's Play. And this is what they voted for. <laughs> for me, uh, for the Tony Hawk series, my experience with it started at 3, mostly. I never really played Tony Hawk 1 or 2 growing up. Uh, Underground, specifically, is actually one of the ones I have probably the least experience with, because I consider this... Well, it, this is one of the three cursed games of my childhood where I could just never find a working copy. <laughs> like, I would, like, rent multiple copies of this game and none of them would work. For those curious, the other two games were NBA Street Volume 2 and Metroid Prime 3. So the difference between this and the earlier Pro Skater games is it has an actual story. And for our story, we need a true hero. We do. Who it gonna be? It's gonna be Titty, of course. Yeah! Returning from Jacob's WarioWare Let's Plays. Let's see your interpretation of the man. He is freshly born. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, he's right-footed. He's left-handed, but right-footed. That's what Goofy means. Goofy means you put your right foot forward on the board. Regular means you put your left foot forward. <laughs> Holy shit, he's a massive clown. <laughs> yes, he dresses very loudly. And this is roughly based on the me that Jacob made for Titty. Yeah, I didn't make it. It's one of the default ones, but it, that, that does look about as close as you can get. <laughs> Titty Straw had no hero. <laughs> I love it. I love his massive feet shoes. The face mapping is kind of borked. The default face map does not actually fit the face and sticks out dramatically for how much more detailed it is. Ah, oh, how awesome would it be if you could accurately use, like, the face map of the me? <laughs> You probably could. You can add your own faces into the folders of the game. I just couldn't figure it out myself. 
Yeah. I remember in the PS2 version, you could use the iToy camera, and it never looked good. Now, I think this is related to our streams where we decided Bob Burnquist was the hero of skateboarding. <laughs> so, of course, Titty is a big fan of Bob Burnquist. I think it was the embarrassment, honestly. <laughs> Which is not true in reality, and reality is one of the best of all time, but you know. The difficulty decides how many points are required in order to accomplish each mission and how many tricks you have to do. We're going to be playing on sick because you actually need to play sick in order to unlock everything. Right. Usually you unlock different things depending on the difficulty, but in this game, do you just unlock everything by playing on the hardest one? Check it, man. Muska is actually coming to this dump for a skate demo. Get dressed, let's go. No, I know you just got dressed, but get dressed. <laughs> you're clearly not, you're clearly not made to go out right now, my dude. I need to put on my pads, my <laughs> gigantic rectangular pads. Yeah, I don't know why in the, in the early Tony Hawk games, knee pads are always gargantuan for some reason. It's the Desert Eagle principle. It needs to be big and recognizable. Uh, I see you decombed your hair. Well, I just got my ride all set up. Sort of. Looks like that thing's held together with duct tape. Let's go skate. It didn't keep my board. What the hell? Home sweet home. What a dump. At least it has some killer spots. The old pool down by the high school. Scabland, the drainage ditch on the south side of town. And Elm Street, our own little strip of paradise. Complete with drug dealers who hate skateboarders. So the game did not come, for whatever reason, with closed captioning, so I had to add them in and post. Right. Hopefully they work out. We're gonna have to ask Yoshi how accurate up, this Eric? depiction of New Jersey yeah, is. I was just yeah, later on, there's a level in Tampa, and Jacob is actually in Tampa, so he's gonna have an additional video talking about some of the locations there. Yeah, born and raised. Here, I'll hold your deck. So the confusing thing about playing on PC is no matter what controller you're using, they don't really bother to actually give you the buttons. They just hope you know what button is mapped to what KP number. That's obnoxious. I didn't know that. I have it roughly set up to how it would be on consoles. I'm using a PS4 controller. Thanks. Here's your deck back. Hey, well, I'm getting my ride set up again. Let's see if you remember a couple of things. But of course, you that's one of the biggest board, additions to this game is the ability to actually get off your board. My God, I wish you had that ability in the earlier the pro skater games. Get off your board, then jump yeah, over the I, I feel like it was it met with like a mixed response, but it really does make setting up spots a lot easier. It makes just general general traversal a lot better. I don't see nothing wrong with a little jump and grind. Comboing is very easy now that you can actually jump off the board. Yeah. One big thing you can do is if you have nowhere to continue your combo and you don't trust your manual skills, you can get off the board. And your combo continues on a timer for a little while after you get off the board. Now that you're done prancing on and off your board, let's actually skate. At least I'm not too gimped to prance. How's your knee? <laughs> I'll show you gimped. Let's see you land this. I'll show you Gimp Slap. Well, well, someone's been practicing. Okay, Mr. Hawk, try this one. Plus he has the, the best, worst voice. I know. <laughs> I remember, I, I forget what context this is, but on one of the... Somebody, like, tweeted something at me involving this character. His name, his full name is Eric Sparrow. Involving, like, his father, Jimmy Falcon, or something. <laughs> and then I... I typed out in full Jersey accent, Pod me, douchebag, but Jimmy Falcon yeah, is my fan. Yeah, yeah. But can you revert it to a manual? That's it. Enough warming up. You can't beat my score, and you know it. Why try?
He teases you a bit, but you know, he means well. You start off with the Mick Twist as one of your special tricks. You're going to be using that a lot. It handily gives you the most points. So anyway, I very heavily beat his score. So now I just need to wait for the time to run out. <laughs> After a point, I do need to jump in and do some more, but... <laughs> Lag is a big problem in this game. Not like lag in the middle of a trick, which would be annoying, but lag when you hit the ground after bailing. Uh, there's this weird spike. Yeah, that might be a thing with the PC version. I don't remember that happening on PS2. Whatever. <sighs> Bye, Eric. So an important thing to note, in order to increase your stats, you have to actually do certain things like land a certain number of tricks from a manual, do certain types of flip tricks in the air. There's a bunch of different things, and it's a long extended process. A lot of it I had to do off screen. Right. It's, there is a lot of them in order to get your stats all the way up, and it's definitely recommended that you do that. Especially in sick. Yeah, because you cannot manual or grind very long at all, and you will need to. Hey, JT, not out racing today. Hey, the kid next door. Nah, chasing turbo. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, I'll give you five bucks to run him around the block a couple of times for me. So there are actually so many missions in this game that you can complete the story while bypassing some of them. Jason Turbo actually has a mission where you drive his car for him that we're not going to see. Yeah, because it uh, sucks a little bit. <laughs> kind of. I don't know if this was an addition to Underground, but Skitchin allows you to grab onto primarily cars, but in this case a dog, and just hang on. I think it counts as a manual. Uh, Skitchin is its own move, and uh, it was in the earlier games. It was introduced in either 3 or 4. Over here. Hey, you. No, I think I saw you. <laughs> you psyched to see Muska's demo? Yeah, bet you are. Oh, I heard psyched and suck, so just me too. <laughs> Why don't you go put up some flyers? I'll give you free tickets to the demo. Try to hit all the telephone poles and wherever kids are skating. Where did you put a flyer there? It was just in the middle of the street. For this, I gotta keep grinding. Who's gonna see the flyer over there? Whoever lives here. They're gonna make sure to go. There's two flyers for it behind their house. What a demo. You're really just coming here just to see Chad Muska. Yo, check this out. Look at him. Boy, he's someone I want to see. It's louder than a Metallica concert in there. I also had bulletproof siding put in and seven screens for my DVD player. This game is very Let's old go. now. Chillin' chillin'. Very. Where? Australia? See, Especially the Underground world. Trilogy are very of their the time. He's traveling the world, living like a king. Very late 90s, early 2000s. Wow, Muska in Jersey? Unreal. I wonder if anyone could impress him. I guess nobody just gives a shit about Mike Vallely also skating around here for no reason. <laughs> yeah. He's just not as important. Chad Musk is wearing an L.A. shirt. Yeah. I'm sure L.A. is very popular in New Jersey. Also, something I learned recently, I I think I'm, I may be getting the band wrong, but I think Mike Vallely is currently uh, the uh, lead vocalist, or at least interim vocalist for Black Flag. 
Huh. It was some prominent punk brand, uh, punk band. I'm pretty sure it was Black Flag. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? That was a sick line you had back there. Whoa, Chad Muska? I'm a huge fan. I had no idea you were watching. Dang, man, that's some ghetto ride you got rolling, though. Yeah, but I'm pretty broke. I gotta make it last. I hear you, man. Back in Vegas, I had no money, no place to stay, nothing, man, until my first shop sponsor hooked me up. So why don't you head down to your shop, check out their riders, and try to get hooked up? And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks. I'm Jewish, but thanks. <laughs> Mr. Peralta's not here right now. Just build the titty lore. <laughs> you'll need to impress the writers on his team. If you get us to sign off on you, you're in. Speaking of Mike Vallely, earlier we did a mission for him and that unlocked a special trick. That's the only way you get special tricks, aside from another thing. Dude, I go to school with your sister. <laughs> Don't think I haven't forgotten. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Then you should know these lines. Though you'll probably need at least five tries to hit them like I do. Wow, Chris. I'm very... <laughs> <laughs> I did great. Wow, a good job, D. So the problem with this game, I don't know what it is. I feel like I had this problem on the console what? versions it too, but to depending on where you start what? a grind, if like if it's right after you jump and as soon as you hit the rail, there's a chance you'll just immediately fall on your ass. I feel like that happens to some varying degree in most Tony Hawk games. It's just a wonky physics engine. So you want to be sponsored, huh? Hey, yeah. You want to be able to put up big numbers <laughs> under pressure. Think you can handle So you want to be sponsored, huh? Sure. No problem. <laughs> His friends back there okay, were just then. telling him to Let's tone it the fuck do down. Do in our setup here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I thought I could just bash in and put civilians in Tony Hawk games. It's important to remember when you're doing a big combo, if you do the same trick, you're gonna get diminishing returns. The amount of points that you would get from that trick will keep going down. Although the score multiplier will usually keep going up, unless it's the exact same trick and then after that point, you're going to start getting decimals. But often, the multiplier is the more important thing than the score itself. Let's see if you got the cojones to impress Stacy Peralta. Meet me on the roof. Use the quarter pipe to get up to roof height, then hold left and jump off your board onto the roof. Stacy Peralta is a super old school nice skateboarder. I don't know too much about him beyond that, but he's like 70s skateboarding. Yeah, like he's a real important entrepreneur in skating. Yeah. He's not made up, he's a real person. Right, anybody who seems important in this game is usually real. Unless they look and sound like a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah. That's the wrong way. All the real people do voice themselves. And they usually do pretty good, weirdly enough. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Surprisingly, Tony Hawk himself is kind of natural as a voice actor. Yeah. So skate up the kind of always pipe, been that way. Air, spine transfer, and land in the quarter pipe below. This, I'm pretty sure, is a new addition to this, spine transferring. What are you doing out here? That was Tony Hawk 4, actually. Whatever. But it is relatively new. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get it back. Where'd they take it? Their place on Elm? Yeah, left it on the front porch. Regardless, when it comes to spine transfers, it, like if you play a lot of a Tony Hawk game with them and then go back to a game without them, you the greatly miss them. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are pretty fried, them and reverts. So be easy to stay out of yeah. Shot, but they're unpredictable and dangerous. It's my neighborhood. I'll do it. Wait, so look out, the plot has arrived. Dangerous. Tony Hawk's stealth mission. This one's really easy. Just jump up onto this awning. And just keep moving along the awnings. The drug dealers can't see you. You can jump over him, you won't see it. This game has odd amounts of variety. Yeah. Eric, hey, what are you doing here? 
Well, look, I got the stuff back. Awesome. Uh, you know, you should get back to Peralta's before you get caught. What about you? Why is that Me? slime dripping oh, out of your mouth? Yeah, I, I gotta finish doing something here. These guys are gonna pay. <laughs> Okay, Eric. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for the owner, Mr. Peralta. Wait, are you the Stacy Peralta? That's me. You the guy my skaters have been talking about? Well, I hope so. I'd like to be sponsored by your shop. Yeah, so would everybody else. I'll tell you what. Make me a sponsor me video. Show me what makes you different than Bobby B down the street, okay? And please don't hand me anything from the same old spots in New Jersey, dude, because I've seen it all. Done. No local spots and different tricks. Also, I need to get my mail. Dude, I just <laughs> talked to Stacy Peralta. You're going to wait, son. They know. Th those gangsters know it was me. What are you talking about? When I got back to my house last night, they were parked outside waiting for me. I, I gotta get the hell out of here. My cousin's got a place in New York. You gotta help me get to the train station across the river. Shit! So the faces don't look great these days, but they look no. a little bit like Half-Life 2 Eric, faces. You okay? I think we lost them. But only a little. Gotta get out of here. If they find me, it'll be my Not in-game, but in the cutscenes. I'm hiding here with Headstone Harry. But if we bring him some scrap metal, yeah, in game they're more like Muppets. Ramp. And if we can get it set up, the street warriors say they'll give us a tow to get speed. Jumping the bridge is the only way to get past the cops. Quick, you gotta get the stuff for the ramp. So I guess just no one's allowed to leave this area of New Jersey unless the drawbridge people say so. Which is their official title, drawbridge people. Dude, come on. Grab it. Or just do that. Oh, okay, you can grab that one. That seems more difficult, but... The first part alone is a good way of showing just how jank this game really is. Yeah, it... it walking... I guess the problem is it never felt completely right. Now, Neversoft has this crazy one-a-year schedule for the Tony Hawk games. And as good as they got, you could always tell. Yeah, a lot of reused stuff. Some jank here and there. Nice. Skitchen gets you nuts air. Yeah. Anyway, I passed out midair, and now it's daytime. <laughs> Everyone just drove around you in the street. So down here is supposed to be a secret tape. Secret tapes were a major part of the Tony Hawk games, but I had already done like an entire run of the Let's Play on an earlier difficulty and then learned I had to do it on sick. So the tapes aren't gonna be there. I'll show where they are at the end of the LP. Sorry, no skater punks allowed in the station. Please, man, we have to get out of town. The Elm Street dealers are after us. We're desperate. Didn't you see us jump the bridge? Ah. Guess I was too busy stopping lion skate rats from sneaking into the station and spray painting I am the king of no pants on the phone kiosks. What's your problem, Bacon Bits? Wake up on the wrong side of your mother this morning? Why, you little... Quick, grind away from Mills Lane. <laughs> Dude, just cut across or just wait for me. Poor. <laughs> well, he's dead. Wasn't technically our fault. It's not what porkin' means. I was uh, sleeping, and my house done blew away. <laughs> I'll give you a train ticket and half my candy bar if you get it back for me. Sure. Reminder, these are old games, so... Smell? Unfortunate stereotypes yeah, abound. My bathroom yeah. Blew away too. <laughs> Ollie the Bum is a recurring character. He's been around since, I think, Tony Hawk 1, technically. Yep. Yeah. 
It's not always a character. Sometimes you literally just jump over him like an asshole. Yeah. You all ate the bubble. They took Eric, the dealers. They're heading east, back to their hangout. Man, if only you didn't torch their car. Whoop. Don't worry, Eric will be fine. <laughs> to gain a lot of speed, you mostly just have to grind. Yeah, that's the logic of Tony Hawk for some reason, that grinding actually gets you speed. You know, Don't fucking worry, rubbing your board against no gravel. Whoa, he's flipping a bitch. Here, take my ride. What the fuck does that mean, Johnny Turbo? <laughs> So driving is not too hard, but the game was clearly not built around it. No. This was very rightfully abandoned after this game. There we go. Why was that car in there? Come on! Watch your head. Game over. And like that, we're in New York. Big bad New York. Peralta will be pumped if we can get some free from the, the Brooklyn My banks. body sans head is in New York. Memorial, <laughs> the pyramid ledges. <laughs> And 78 Water Street. Wow, Titty, we made it. Hey. Wow, Titty, we most of us made it. <laughs> One and seven eighths of us made it. <laughs> One and seven eighths. My head is an eighth of me. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Just about. Maybe a sixth. Jacob and Thorne disagree on the fraction of the, our body a head takes up. Well, I also have a long neck. Ah. Me too. My mom would call me E.T. growing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> There's this one particular school picture of mine where you just see the whole thing. I was like seven years old. My neck looked so fucking long. See you in New York, everyone. Bye-bye.